All right, well, I guess we will continue Ogenus now. Okay, so let's see. I think the last part we left off was Krupp, Krupkoff. So the Krupp is a high-pitched cough that is accompanied by difficult breathing. A sore throat usually precedes the cough. This type of cough generally affects children under age 5. The cough is necessary to bring circulation to toxin-blocked tissue of the lungs, heart, and throat. Eating honey-butter mixture soothes the tissue and eases difficult breathing. Drinking smoothies and eating citrus fruits helps cleanse the mucous membranes. Eating antibiotic-free and hormone-free raw chicken or turkey helps to strengthen and rebuild the affected tissue. Cystic fibrosis is a hardening and thickening of glands, such as gallbladder, lungs, pancreas, and sweat glands, similar to colloidal tissue. It is thought to be a hereditary inability to digest foods, causing failure of normal growth and development. It is only hereditary in that the genes have lost access to the plan for synthesizing many enzymes. The enzyme mutations for digesting, assimilating, and utilizing cooked green and red fruits and vegetables are not produced, causing dryness, lesions, and scarring, eventually producing thick mucus in an attempt to harness and eliminate the resultant toxicity. Symptoms. Poor circulation, respiratory difficulties, especially in the later part of the day, sour palate, mustard taste in the mouth, eyes that have difficulty focusing in bright light, difficulty in communicating, and a feeling of isolation. Avoiding cooked green foods and cooked red and orange fruits and vegetables stops the general hardening of glands. Eating raw green salads with a raw unpasteurized vinegar dressing helps cleanse the residues and resins that have scarred the glands. Eating all foods raw, except some cooked starches if necessary, supplies the body with plenty of enzymes for digestion. Eating plenty of raw fat and unheated honey with everything, especially with cooked starch if necessary, supplies the body with the nutrients to lubricate the body and make and replace most enzymes that may be missing in glands and throughout the body. Dandruff is one layer or more of dry, dead skin on the scalp that cracks and flakes. Hardened fat or unutilizable fluid fat are the cause. The bacteria that usually accompanies this condition are a result of the body trying to detoxify the fat. Some people are antibacterial, or or some people use antibacterial shampoos. These shampoos poison the scalp. The poisons are often absorbed into the body and brain, causing impatience, discontent, and irritability. Eating plenty of raw fat and alkalizing foods usually ends dandruff within one to two months. Occasionally, it may return for a week or two as the body discards old, stored, unutilizable fat and other toxins through the scalp. Those toxins cause the scalp to dry and the upper layer to flake. During these times, a topical remedy can be applied. Once every second or third day, massage one and a half tablespoons of cold-pressed below 96 degrees fermented coconut oil or stone-pressed olive oil blended with one teaspoon fresh cucumber into the scalp and let stand overnight. Then wet hair, wash hair, and scalp with a whipped raw whole egg. Let egg remain for three to five minutes and rinse hair and scalp thoroughly. Dehydration is a deficiency of H2O in the cells. Drinking water does not supply cells with absorbable H2O. Drinking water causes cellular drying and bloating in the body's fluid systems. For H2O to be properly absorbed, H2O must be bound to nutrients other than minerals and water. The only way to properly hydrate the body is to eat and drink raw foods. Eating tomatoes hydrates cells best. Or blending three cups tomatoes, one to two teaspoons raw unpasteurized apple cider vinegar, 
two to four tablespoons unheated honey and either and either four tablespoons unsalted raw butter or six tablespoons raw cream or four tablespoons raw coconut cream or eight tablespoons avocado and drinking it throughout the day hydrates cells wonderfully. A less desirable alternative would be to drink the mixture of at least two tablespoons of unheated honey, two tablespoons fresh raw lemon or lime juice, and one cup naturally sparkling mineral water. So that's really interesting. Um, Depression. Transient depression is most often caused by low blood sugar. Drinking a blenderized mixture of a half cup of fresh or raw fresh fruit, such as orange or pineapple or whatever fruit appeals to you, and a half cup unheated honey usually brings immediate relief. Drinking a little and then sipping the rest over a one to two hour period often creates better results. If hypoglycemia or diabetes is involved, one to three ounces raw cream or a half to one avocado or other raw fat, e.g. raw coconut cream, unsalted raw cheese, should be blended in or eaten with the fruit and honey mixture. To handle repeated and extended spells of depression, oh, and then it says see page 141. Uh, Chronic depression is most often caused by low bacterial levels in the digestive tract and or protein deficiencies. Eating at least one pound of raw meat... Oh, hold on. You're still there, right? Hello? Ross, you still there? Hello? All right, Ross might have stepped away, I guess. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Eating at least one pound of raw meat and a half cup raw cream daily helps ease chronic depression. To completely resolve it, I suggest eating high meat. Doing something creative inspires creative thinking for problem solving instead of worrying. Uh, Ross says he's muted. Ross, you're not muted in the in the. I don't know what's going on here. It doesn't say you're muted. All right, guys, we're having technical difficulties here. Hello? Hey, man, sorry, I got hung up. Okay weird my like room the room you know uh, window like wasn't updating so it didn't show you as muted oh yeah it'll time out if you leave it too long yeah close it and then sign in and get into it again anyway continue okay you heard everything all right yeah uh concentrating on creating positive things and experiences helps create a better future Then making choices based on yourself, experiencing a more suitable future makes your future a better reality. Believing in sayings like, quote, too good to be true, closes the door to wonderful experience. Inventions are rarely made by proving something can't be done. Inventions are made by focusing on the possibilities that something can be done. If I had believed what the doctor said about my probabilities, I would be dead. If I had listened to what most of my teachers and counselors told me of my aptitude, what my aptitudes were, I would not have been able to read a book, much less write this one. What will you invent or create of your future? Okay. Dermatitis applies to various inflammations in the skin. These inflammations are detoxification of the lymph and the skin. Eating two to four smoothies daily blended with red or yellow fresh raw unripe fruit like tomato or papaya or pineapple 
and getting plenty of sunshine assists this detoxification. If the taste of tomatoes blended with eggs is repulsive, the smoothie can be made with another fruit. Then, in between smoothies, eating plenty of raw tomatoes or a raw tomato drink, two to five tomatoes blended with one to four tablespoons unheated honey and one to two tablespoons of raw and pasteurized apple cider vinegar, neutralizes toxins that cause this condition. Typically, rinsing the skin with a mixture of two ounces water and one tablespoon raw and pasteurized apple cider vinegar provides the skin with nutrients to detoxify more easily so that large skin eruptions are not as necessary, if at all. Detoxification is the metabolic process by which toxins are changed into less toxic or more excrescent substances. Bacteria, parasites, fungi, and virus perform many types of detoxification. Stopping detoxifications will cause toxic buildups that become disease. It is much healthier in most circumstances to let detoxification run its course while we nurture our bodies with the best raw diet. I don't suggest that anybody force any type of detoxification, including by fast or colonic. Everybody will have enough colds, flu, occasional vomit and or diarrhea, skin eruptions and sores, and short-term aches and pains, which are all detoxification, throughout his or her lifetime without forcing any more. However, if someone is feeling extra strong, has 30 days when he or she can afford to be lethargic and wants to rid himself or herself of some of the mutant antibodies caused by vaccines, Eating moldy raspberry juice, as mentioned in Appendix D, page, pages 132 to 137, frees many blood proteins to speed his or her journey to optimal health instead of being utilized by needless mutant antibodies. An orange or lemon or lime or strawberries may be molded and the juice drunk instead of raspberries. Whatever, Whichever is more appealing to you will be the one that is right for you. Note that if lethargy strikes, usually it strikes three to four weeks after drinking the moldy juice, and lethargy can last for at least 30 days, and in rare cases, up to one year. Sometimes lethargy is accompanied by mild to severe depression. If anyone is going to drink moldy juice, he or she should be prepared. So that's why I, that's why I texted you that, because, uh, wow. yeah. I mean, he says that it won't happen in all cases, but if it does happen, I mean, he talks, he's talking about it here like it's basically irreversible, right? Because it's a, yeah. it's, a de- it's a detox symptom. So you can't, you know, if it happens, there's nothing you can do. I mean, you, if you stop it, I mean, you can never stop detoxification. You can stop it, but that won't, it'll, it'll come back, right? Because, you know, your body you better run, it, run its course or it's going right. to run you down, right. yeah. Yeah. It's just like when your body, you know, you get a cold or the flu, you know, you can't reverse after your body's made the decision to do that. There's nothing you can do to reverse it. You know, yeah. you just got to let it run its course, right? Yeah. So stopping it only just prolongs it or just postpones it. It doesn't actually stop it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So... So, yeah, not sure if I would do that then. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad I heard that before I did. I bought the yeah. series. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, unless you can take that much time off, but I doubt you can do that. Sure. <laughs> I don't want to at this point. No, be no. better ways. Yeah. Okay, so uh, detoxification, stopping it. A person who needs temporary relief from a continually heavy, painful detoxification may discourage that detoxification by taking 102 to 107 degrees Fahrenheit, one to one and a half hours baths, three days apart. Immediately before each bath, the bather should drink a blended mixture of one-fourth to one cup unripe lime juice, three to seven tablespoons coconut cream, one to six teaspoons raw dairy cream, or two to six tablespoons avocado. 
Measured ingredients should be equal for suggested amounts. That is, for a person who is four to four foot six, the smallest amounts of each ingredient to be blended is one third cup lime juice, three tablespoons coconut cream, one teaspoon dairy cream, or two tablespoons avocado. A person who is four six to five two should blend one half cup lime juice, four tablespoons coconut cream, two teaspoons dairy cream, or three tablespoons avocado. A person who is five three to five nine should blend two thirds cup lime juice, five tablespoons coconut cream, three teaspoons dairy cream, or four tablespoons avocado. A person who is five ten to six two should blend about three fourths cups lime juice, six tablespoons coconut cream. 5 teaspoons dairy cream or 6 tablespoons avocado. A person who is 6'3 to 6'10 should blend about 1 cup lime juice, 7 tablespoons coconut cream, 2 tablespoons dairy cream, or 7 tablespoons avocado. After the bath, the bather will be weak. The bather should move slowly from the bath and sit to dry. Bundle in very warm natural clothing and take a 30 to 45 minute easy walk. The hot bath routine above works by instigating the healing cycle that relaxes bacteria, putting them in hibernation, and discouraging cells from producing virus. Those are the same effects produced by fever. Fever is an important and beneficial feat of the body. Fever ends microbe and viral proliferation and initiates intense healing, cellular division, and reproduction. Usually, fever is accompanied by necessary lethargy that transforms into tiredness. Rest, relaxation, and sleep are important because most healing occurs during those states. For a less beneficial alternative for stopping painful, persistent detoxification for the elderly is to eat a cooked meal once weekly. A cooked meal discourages continual detoxification of old stored toxins. One cooked meal of baked chicken once weekly usually stops and prevents extreme detoxification of old toxins stored in the body. Detoxification of drugs... What? Sorry? Makes you wonder about decades of a diet of only cooked meals. Yeah. No, I know. Which is like, thank God we're uh, coming to this information now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Detoxification of drugs is characterized by coating on the tongue, sour taste in the mouth, chemical smelling urine, skin eruptions, nausea and or headache, and often by the returning of symptoms that had occurred at the time a drug had been taken. Drinking a mixture of two tablespoons of unheated honey per one cup of raw fresh orange juice helps the body neutralize drugs. Here are the foods that have helped to bind with the following toxic substances and remove them from your body. Amphetamines and caffeine, carob powder, raw kefir, unheated honey, antibiotics, fresh parsley, antihistamines, sun-dried powdered clay, twice daily drinking two ounces of good mineral water with one fourth teaspoon clay mixed in works best. Aspirin and cocaine, including Novocaine, Avocados, cough medications, sedatives, yellow banana pepper, yellow chili, eaten with a half avocado and some raw meat. Drugs in general, smoothies made with raspberries. Nail polish on nails, very toxic, 25% more fat, fresh parsley, 15 sprigs daily. And put coconut or olive oil on nails instead of nail polish. Salt, naturally sparkling mineral water, ripe tomatoes, vitamin C supplements, oranges. Like how he has vitamin C supplements as a drug. <laughs> That's funny. Because it is. Detoxification of radiation is characterized by nausea, nervousness, and a feeling of extreme sensitivity in the body. Radiation poisoning can come from medication, medical testing, x-rays, fluorescent lighting, television, computer monitors, laser printers, cellular phones, Bluetooth tech, 
irradiated food, microwaves, scanners, industrial pollution, jewelry, building material, and EMFs from improperly grounded electro electrical connections and operating machinery. So basically literally everything in your environment today. Yep. Eating avocado with orange or with melons facilitates the body's ability to discard stored radiation. If a person received barium or iodine as an x-ray contrast, eating a combination of raw meat with plenty of beef fat, and in the afternoon eating three ounces coconut cream blended with either three-fourths to one cup dark berries, such as blue, black, and poison berries, or one-third cup raspberries and one-third cup dark berries helps detoxify it. For individuals who have taken radioactive medication, drinking raw milk with unheated honey helps detoxify it. Diabetes is an impaired ability to utilize carbohydrate, blood sugar, or protein blood sugar, pyruvate, because of insufficient production of insulin or faulty insulin manufactured by the pancreas. Symptoms, frequent hunger and urination, impaired vision, muscle cramps shortly after eating sweets, and wounds that heal slowly and poorly. Medicinal insulin causes poor sugar assimilation and metabolism and causes the pancreas to further deteriorate. The poorly assimilated and metabolized sugar is most often stored in the, in the extremities, causing deterioration of tissue and eventual gangrene and amputation. Eating tremendous amounts of unheated honey, about three-fourths cup throughout each day, replaces the functions of insulin missing in the blood while it heals the pancreas and encourages pancreatic functions. The best honey for this is a partially crystallized, completely unheated honey. Unheated honey is naturally crystallized within a year unless exposed to hot weather conditions. Refrigerating honey speeds crystallization, but remove from refrigeration when crystallization begins. That's good info. I didn't know that. Eating plenty of raw fat strengthens glandular cells. Eating plenty of the, the particular meats that are right for you rebuilds the pancreas over a period of two to five years. If diabetes is accompanied with other ailments, rebuilding the pancreas may take many more years. If a person is suited for eating red meat, eating raw red fish, like tuna or salmon, with raw beef at least once weekly helps rebuild the nerves in the pancreas. When a pronounced decrease in energy occurs, eating avocado or other raw fat with raw, fresh, unripe fruit and unheated honey raises the energy level. When clients had been taking insulin for at least two years, he or she did best by weaning himself gradually off insulin over a long period, up to two years. It usually took that long before the pancreas worked well enough. When an insulin taker started experiencing itching of the skin, it was an indication to decrease his or her insulin intake. Diarrhea is the frequent elimination of watery fecal matter. Diarrhea should be welcomed. Eating plenty of raw fats, especially no salt added raw cheeses or raw eggs with raw unripe banana and unheated honey absorbs radical toxins causing diarrhea, soothes membranes, and replenishes lost nutrients. One to yeah. three tablespoons of raw carob powder may be added to that combination if it is a smoothie. Avoid if apples. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Uh -huh. As someone who just drank uh, a quart of raw cream this last week, I can vouch for the uh, diarrhea effect. Um, where where did it say raw cream? What are you talking about? Well, he said raw fats and cream. Oh and, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh huh. Okay, so it says. Uh, one to three tablespoons of raw carob powder may be added to that combination if it is a smoothie. Avoid apples. They have a tendency to overstimulate the adrenals, which often cause more diarrhea. 
Drinking soured milk, such as raw plain kefir, helps restore intestinal flora lost in diarrhea. I guess drinking soured milk is good there. <laughs> anyway, uh, divert diverticulitis is inflammation in one or more of the sacs of the intestines. It can result from food that is collected and adhered to the sac or toxins within the intestinal walls in a given area. It most often results from a fat deficiency, usually accompanied by protein deficiency. Often that results in the body's inability to produce proper or enough mucus to protect intestinal walls. There may be several reasons for fat deficiencies. Symptoms, abdominal cramps or pain, irregular bowel movements, gas, lethargy, and continued abdominal bloating. Eating one to two eggs every one to two hours, following that with one half tablespoon of butter honey mixture for three to seven days calms this condition. Afterward, eating more raw fat with everything that is eaten and eating raw meat corrects divert, divertic, uh, diverticulitis. Eating vegetable salads often slows digestion and irritates the intestines. It is healthiest not to eat salads except as the very last food of the day. Drinking raw, fresh vegetable juices soothes intestines. If experiencing intestinal cramps, eating a half raw papaya with a half avocado or other raw fat, except cheeses, usually relieves cramps. Eating whichever raw meats that are appropriate for you will strengthen and tone your intestines. Now, Chris, hold on. Yep. Um, that that last part, whichever meats are appropriate for you. Yep. You mentioned uh, body types and personality types earlier in the book, right? Yep. That's what he's talking about? Yep, yep. And he says they can be corrected, so it's not like a fixed thing. Like over time, if you correct your health, then any meats should be good for you. Yeah, it's not a static thing, no. Okay, cool. Just mm -hmm. to clarify. It's basically whatever, uh, I guess, whatever suits your current condition, which was described in the, you know, descriptions he gave. Yeah. That's the one that you should eat at that, that current time. Okay, so... Uh, Dizziness is most often from low blood sugar. See hypoglycemia. Dizziness may be caused by swelling in one ear and not the other ear. Okay, dry skin and general dryness. Oh, okay, uh, let's see. Ear infection. Resting a hot water bottle next to the entire side of the head increases circulation, speeds nutrients to the area, and soothes pain tissue during this detoxification. Eating tomatoes re reduces fever and minimizes swelling. Eating citrus as well as tomatoes helps neutralize toxins in the affected area so that healing progresses more quickly. If experiencing severe pain, eating a golf ball-sized amount of ground meat with a half tablespoon unsalted raw butter and a half teaspoon unheated honey every four to six hours helps relieve pain and speed healing. Drinking a mixture of raw milk and bee pollen, or raw carrot juice and bee pollen, also relieves pain. More immediate relief may be obtained by pressing the juice from fresh garlic or onion, mixing four drops into one teaspoon of room temperature, unheated above 96 degrees Fahrenheit, fermented coconut oil, or cold-pressed peanut oil or stone-pressed olive oil, slowly putting drops into the ear and gently plugging the ear with a puff of cotton. Then apply heat with a hot water bottle, not an electric heating pad. Electric pads generate electromagnetic fields that may interfere with neural function and healing. Edema is the retention of fluids in the body. It is sometimes a mineral deficiency or mineral imbalance where cells are unable to utilize water. Avoid edema. salt. Edema, okay. Avoid salt. Drinking honey mixed with fresh raw vegetable juices or fresh raw tomato puree and eating no salt added raw cheese at the same time correct many mineral imbalances. 
eating raw fish and getting fresh air and sunshine are helpful. Nowadays, a major contributing cause of edema is volatile compounds and fluids collecting in the body. They must be diluted or they will irritate, burn, and kill cells. Uh, emphysema is swelling and destruction of the sacs in the lungs, usually brought on by airborne pollution. For instance, tobacco smoke, including secondary smoke, smog, and prolonged inhalation of dust, such as lint from synthetic fibers from bedding, clothing, carpets, and rugs, and coal dust. The lungs have become loaded with garbage that they cannot easily detoxify and discharge. If a person stops smoking, stays away from airborne toxins, including synthetic fibers, and eats a raw diet with plenty of raw fat and raw meat, he or she may have a good chance of living with emphysema. So I would also suggest getting a good air purifier with that, obviously, yeah. for your house. If you got, like, carpeting and stuff, you know. Uh, uh, epilepsy is characterized by sensory seizures, change in sensation or loss of consciousness, or convulsive seizures, involuntary muscle movement. This is an ailment that mainly results from a lack of enzyme mutations to digest, assimilate, and utilize both cooked fat and proteins. It is dangerous for people with epilepsy to eat cooked meat and cooked fat. In infants and children, I have observed that antibiotics cause frequent or constant grand mal and petite mal seizures. Eating plenty of raw fat and raw meat has corrected this problem within nine months to two years. That is, unless a person continued to eat cooked fat and meat and take medication. When a person had taken medication for a long time, it worked best to wean himself or herself over a comfortable, comfortable period of time by reducing the dosage every three to four months. In infants, I suggest that medication be immediately discontinued and one teaspoon of the mixture of two parts unsalted raw butter to one part completely unheated honey be given every 20 to 40 minutes until seizures subside. It was best for infants to receive meals of only raw milk blended with unsalted raw butter and completely unheated honey, two tablespoons butter and one-fourth teaspoon honey to seven ounces milk. In one case, an infant experienced seizures only when she nursed from her mother. Her mother took medication. Eye inflammation and irritation. The same remedy suggestions for conjunctivitis has soothed and healed those conditions. Eye strain. Getting sleep, plenty of sunshine, and eating red and orange live foods, such as raw fresh tuna, salmon, tomatoes, raw carrot juice, oranges, watermelon, and cantaloupe soothe and heal eye strain. Eating unsalted raw butter is also helpful. Blurred vision accompanying eye strain is often a red meat deficiency. Eating red meat with unheated honey corrects blurred vision. Mm. Yeah. There's that combination there. Fat right deficiency. Now. Huh? I'm going to go get some honey right now. I've been eating some meat. Yeah. Coffee. Yeah, that's that's what I had for dinner. I I, just, I had a raw ribeye, and I, just, I, like, put unheated honey on it. I just ate it like that. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> it actually kind of made it taste better, you know? Yeah. Uh, it says fat deficiency results from either not eating enough fat or lacking the enzyme mutations for digesting, assimilating, and utilizing cooked fat. Eating plenty of raw fat with unheated honey eventually improperly lubricates and strengthens cells. Fatigue is the, quote, normal feeling of physical, emotional, and mental weariness at the end of a day. However, if fatigue happens during the day, it frequently results from self-criticism. Focusing on one's talents and accomplishments develops and continues them. If you don't know you have a talent, you can develop one to which you are attracted. Drinking a mixture of a half cup raw fresh juice mixed with a half cup unheated honey usually brings immediate relief. Sleep is both healing and energizing. 
Fever is a body temperature above the body's normal temperature. Fever ends proliferation of bacteria and other detoxification microbes, stops cells from producing virus, and initiates intense healing, cellular division, and reproduction. Usually, fever is accompanied by necessary lethargy that transforms into tiredness. Rest, relaxation, and sleep are important because most healing occurs during those states. Getting plenty of sleep, fresh air, and eating red and orange live foods, such as raw fresh tuna, salmon, tomatoes, carrot juice, oranges, unripe watermelon, and cantaloupe, soothes tissues and prevents cellular destruction. If blood sugar problems exist, add four to six tablespoons raw fat to any high-carbohydrate fruit. Eating fresh raw aloe vera gel also soothes tissues, especially mucous membranes, and prevents cellular destruction. Consuming raw cream or unsalted raw butter also helps. If there is not an appetite, drink the freshest raw juices mixed with uneated honey. Raw cream mixed in equal proportions with the freshest raw carrot juice or cream mixed with orange or watermelon juice is often the most soothing. If a fever rises above 105 degrees Fahrenheit, drink chilled, fresh, blended raw tomatoes or fresh raw fruit fruit purees of red and orange raw foods. Don't panic. When eating a predominantly raw diet, convulsion and irreversible brain damage has not happened from fever. Night fevers. Night sweats are usually a combination of friction from mass cellular division, cellular reproduction, and cessation of intense detoxification. That is cause for joy. It is a time of intense rejuvenation when an individual becomes more alive with new cells. Sleeping more, getting fresh air and sunshine, and eating plenty of raw meat during and after these cycles brings youth and strength. Eating one-eighth teaspoon of royal jelly with raw meat and with raw fat daily during those cycles increases the body's ability to reproduce and strengthen cells. Fever blister is a sore in or around the mouth characterized by inflammation, swelling, and sensitivity. Fever blisters are the result of too many free volatile toxins in the serums in the mouth, including blood. This results from a deficiency of nutrients that neutralize and bind with toxins. A person not getting enough sleep can cause fever blisters and acne because the body spends all available nutrients on physical activity resulting in excessive accumulated toxins throughout the body. Drinking the following mixtures usually has healed fever blisters within 36 hours, but in a few instances has taken up to five days. First food in the morning. Heat good mineral water until it is no hotter than an immersed finger can tolerate for three seconds. Stir in two to five tablespoons unheated honey. Then stir in one to two tablespoons raw and pasteurized apple cider vinegar, four to six tablespoons fresh raw lemon or lime juice, and two tablespoons raw cream if available. Last food before sleep. Blend one tomato, one to two tablespoons raw and pasteurized apple cider vinegar, two to four tablespoons unheated honey, and four to six tablespoons fresh raw lemon or lime juice, and two tablespoons raw cream if available. Food addiction is the frequent craving for a particular food or foods. Most people can't digest, assimilate, and utilize what their bodies need from cooked foods, so they overeat. It is almost impossible for a person to overeat when on a raw diet that includes meat. The body loses its, loses its appetite when its needs are satisfied. If someone deprives her or his body of what it needs, she will experience emotional deprivation, depression, or anxiety, anxiousness, and irritability, and malnutrition. Eating the foods a person craves, fresh and raw, brings on a degree of physical and emotional satisfaction that would not have ill repercussions. For people who crave chocolate, I have included a recipe for a substitute. Everyone should trust his or her cravings. Cravings are the body telling a person what it needs or that it needs the nutrients in the foods craved. 
If a person craves ice cream and raw cream is not available, she or he could eat either raw fat with unheated honey, such as avocados and unheated honey, or fresh raw coconut cream with unheated honey. Alonza, a nutritional colleague, has found a relationship between emotional needs and physical needs. She has found that people who are over-aggressive, trying to sink their teeth into things, have a protein deficiency and need to eat more raw meat, especially white meat. People who crave sweets have a need for a sweet life. Finding and interacting with sweet people will be as emotionally nourishing as raw fresh fruits and unheated honey will be physically nourishing. Foot problems. Aching or burning feet. Drinking a combination of raw tomato, raw cucumber, and raw carrot juices helps soothe the feet. Applying cold slices of fresh raw tomato or cucumber or potato to the soles of your feet soothe and relax the feet. Or soaking your feet alternately for two minutes in cold and then in warm water as many times as you like stimulates circulation and relaxes the feet. Cold feet. Drinking a combination of raw tomato, raw spinach, raw carrot juices with the juice of a half to one hot, fresh, raw pepper, chili, jalapeno, etc., and two tablespoons unheated honey increases body temperature. Alternately, standing on your toes for one to two minutes and then on your heels for 30 seconds increases circulation to the feet, warming them. Cons, or corns. Alternately rubbing stone-pressed olive oil twice daily for one day and then rubbing cold-pressed below 96 degrees Fahrenheit peanut oil twice daily for three days gradually causes the corn to let go. Peel off the corn and you will find smooth skin. Or bandage a piece of fresh raw lemon peel or pineapple peel on the corn. Inside a peel against the corn overnight for several nights until the corn comes off leaving smooth skin. Uh, fungus is characterized by itching and peeling of the skin. All fungi naturally appearing in the body are beneficial. They consume intercellular toxicity, including toxicity caused by antibiotics. Consequently, fungi detoxify antibiotics. Eating foods that alkalize facilitates the cleansing and healing processes, reducing the need for fungi. Cooked acidic foods like coffee, chocolate, teas, including herbal, soups, and meat should not be eaten. It is best to let a fungus run its course, usually in five to six weeks. If that is impossible, coating the area with unheated honey and covering it with a clean cotton cloth will smother the fungus and stop it for a period of time. So, uh, fungi are beneficial. Oh, you want to say something? So if you have athlete's foot, should you lick your feet? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not that far. <laughs> That's vile. Yeah, it? probably probably not that far, but I don't know. Maybe. You should try it and then uh, let us know what happens. Well, that would mean I would have to contract athlete's foot on purpose first and I'm not going to do that. So. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, I have, I have an idea. Uh-huh. If you if you uh scratch your scalp for several minutes over a paper towel and then eat the dead skin flakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't go. do that. That's that's a gross. All right, so uh, gallstones are deposits of crystallized resins and minerals, the same as kidney stones, but combined with bile in the gallbladder. Uh, Along with the suggestions for kidney stones, see page 282. We're not there yet. Eating foods containing a lot of minerals, that is fresh raw vegetable juices, raw eggs, raw milk, preferably full fat, raw plain kefir, tomatoes, melons, no salt added raw cheeses, and fresh raw fish, especially raw oysters and clams with raw fat, soothes the condition. 
drinking two ounces of fresh raw beet juice mixed in other vegetable juices and eating with no salt added raw cheese once daily speeds the process. Hey, hold on. A raw, huh? Uh, as we have mentioned in past calls, we don't believe in eating shellfish, but right. um, I think I right. see the pattern in his suggestions there. The oysters, oysters are known to be one of the highest sources of concentrated zinc. And uh, if you'll remember our copper zinc imbalance episode a few ago, um, zinc displaces copper. They have an, a balancing and also antagonistic relationship with each other. Right. So that plus fat, lots of fat. Um, he's trying to get the gallbladder to unclog if it's got gallstones and also spit out and detox excess copper to excrete mm. it. Mm-hmm. Okay, he says, uh, a raw milk eggnog made by blending two raw eggs, a half cup raw milk, and one-fourth banana. Nutmeg isn't necessary. Works just a little bit slower, but sometimes is more soothing. Dude, I love eggnog. (laughs) Yeah. I can drink so much of that stuff. If only I had some raw milk, man, to make it. If you will, uh, if you remember the consistency of eggnog, that's about what uh, the raw cream tastes like, or uh, feels like. Oh, the raw. Oh, really? Sometimes it's as thick as like uh, melted cheese. Hmm. It varies. So it tastes. It tastes like eggnog too. No, no, no. Or... It has the. It has the thickness of it. Oh, just the the texture. Most of the time. Yeah. But what does it taste like? Just milk or what? Um, yeah, it's pretty, uh, mild, but also, uh-huh. well, it's hard to explain because it's, it's almost nauseatingly rich, um, mm. or, or it feels heavy in the stomach. That might just be me with this, with my suspected, uh, copper zinc and Right, balance. right, um, yeah. But, uh, it might not be because it has lactose, which is a sugar. Yeah, uh-huh. so it may be rich because it's sweet from that sugar. Mhm. Mhm. Hmm. Okay, so uh the gastritis is inflamed stomach walls. If a person is paunchy, he or she lacks the enzyme mutations to digest, assimilate and utilize cooked green foods. Avoid eating cooked green foods. Another cause is drinking alcohol. Other causes are eating processed sugars and taking antibiotics. Eating plenty of unheated honey and raw fat has corrected this condition. That is, as long as cooked green foods and alcohol are not ingested. Glaucoma is edema. Edema, right? That's how you say it? Yeah. Okay, edema in the eyeball and hardening of the conjunctive piva. Eating raw red meat daily helps reverse glaucoma. Avoid all cheese for six months. Eating one-fourth cup stone-pressed olive oil daily, several fresh raw tomatoes blended into puree with plenty of unheated honey, and a little fresh live hot pepper once or twice daily and fresh raw fish at least once daily usually heals this condition in several months. If you are diabetic, glaucoma is probably due to poorly assimilated or metabolized sugars. Goiter is the enlargement of the thyroid. Eating raw fish every day for five weeks has corrected this mineral imbalanced condition and helped fortify the thyroid gland. Gonorrhea is an inflammation of the urethra and or vagina accompanied with pus. It is a necessary detoxification of the tissues that is usually caused by the inability to utilize caffeine and cooked green foods. Avoiding caffeine and cooked green foods stops the accumulation of these toxins. It is best to be celibate for 10 days. Getting a lot of sunshine and drinking two quarts of raw, fresh orange juice throughout the first part of the day and then a balanced raw diet for the remainder of the day has brought this detoxification to a quicker end. Gout is a condition in which volatile substances, e.g. uric acid, collects in the blood and around the joints, causing swelling, especially in the fingers and toes. 
gout occurs in people who can handle very little, if any, uric acid. Cooked and processed meats produce tremendous amounts of volatile toxins. Avoid cooked and processed meats. Eating plenty of raw meat with raw fat, however, helps remove the saturation of volatile toxins and strengthens the body. Eating raw, fresh tomatoes, pineapple, and melons, and drinking raw, fresh carrot juice mixed with other raw, fresh vegetable juices alkalize, cleanse, and soothes this condition. Uh, Halitosis is a foul odor emanating from the mouth. In hygienic people, only 1% of, quote, bad breath comes from decaying teeth. The other 99% of bad breath comes from a toxic intestine where foods have putrefied. Some putrid gases in the intestines pass into the blood and expel from the lungs. Eating unheated honey often, and when available, plain raw kefir supplies enzymes necessary for better digestion. Eating fresh raw parsley or other fresh raw aromatic herbs or fresh raw vegetable juices, or fresh raw pineapple or papaya aids digestion and sweetens breath. Very seldom does anyone on a raw diet have bad breath, and only during detoxification. Some people are ill-affected by the putrid gases of bad breath that are emitted by other people. Those people get a headache when they are within two feet from someone who has bad breath. Many people who drink alcohol have a destructive chemical reaction that causes their breath to smell like airplane glue. Many people who do not drink alcohol have breath that smells like airplane glue. Some people get nauseous, claustrophobic, and headachy when enclosed in an unventilated room with someone who has breath that smells like airplane glue. Following the same suggestions above alleviates the gaseous ill effects suffered from someone else's bad breath. Hay fever is an extreme sensitivity to airborne substances that irritate the mucous membranes of the air passages and eyes. Immediate relief can be attained by eating a little honeycomb. Eating plenty of raw fat daily, especially eggs, with red and orange fresh raw foods eventually resolves this problem. For example, A fresh raw orange, carrot, or tomato smoothie soothes and sets a condition for healing the sinuses. Fresh raw meat, like tuna and swordfish, helps heal and strengthen sinuses. Also, eating fresh local bee pollen can help reverse this condition. If a person starts by eating one-fourth to one-half teaspoon unheated bee pollen at a time, six times daily, there will be only a remote chance of the rare incidence of anaphylactic shock. If hay fever is severe, working up to a half cup of unheated bee pollen daily with at least one-third teaspoon royal jelly and one tablespoon unheated honey mixed with 12 ounces of fresh raw vegetable juice, including carrot, and sipping it throughout the day may be a more palatable form to consume the pollen. Drinking one-sixth of this mixture six times daily has stopped sneezing and headache. Avoid cheeses during hay fever season. They can cause dryness of the sinuses. Headaches. The common headache is from either high blood pressure, most often caused by eating salt, or low blood circulation, or toxic bloodstream. High blood pressure headache. Mix two ounces of naturally sparkling mineral water with two tablespoons of unheated honey and and the juice of one lemon. Add six ounces more of naturally sparkling mineral water and drink. Usually that relieves this headache in 20 to 40 minutes. All right, hold on. I got to plug something in here. Okay, uh, low blood circulation headache is accompanied by sluggishness. Mix two ounces of naturally sparkling mineral water with two tablespoons of unheated honey. Add six ounces more of naturally sparkling water and drink. Usually that relieves this headache in 20 to 40 minutes. Toxic bloodstream headache is accompanied by nausea. Drinking one cup fresh raw orange juice mixed with three tablespoons unheated honey usually relieves this headache in 20 to 40 minutes. 
or drinking six ounces good mineral water mixed with two tablespoons of raw and pasteurized apple cider vinegar, fresh raw juice of a half lemon and three tablespoons unheated honey usually relieves this headache in 20 minutes. Cluster headaches, also called, quote, suicide headaches, are successively occurring headaches that grow in intensity, usually immobilizing the sufferer. Cluster headaches occur in a body laced with volatile toxins, usually from excessive adrenaline, accompanied by low blood fat and low body fat levels. Cluster headaches are somewhat allergy-related. Avoiding the following foods and substances usually solves the problem. Caffeine, including aspirin, coffee, chocolate, and sodas. Alcohol, processed sugars, cheddar, and jack and jack cheeses, even if cheeses are raw. Salt and anything made with baking soda. For cluster sufferers over age 25, following these suggestions for at least three days weekly for several months before the cluster season begins usually prevents reoccurrence. Abstain from the foods listed above and eat cooked starches with plenty of raw fat and tomatoes and eat fresh raw fish. Salmon is more often the most effective. Uh, Migraines are sudden headaches that fluctuate in intensity, usually occurring on one side of the head. Sleeping is the best relief. When awake, eating a little spoonful of unheated honey every five minutes and avoiding all other food, especially avoiding meat and dairy, eventually relieves migraines. If thirsty, sipping some good mineral water or some fresh raw orange juice with an equal amount of unheated honey is helpful. Heart attack. Get medical help to stay alive. Then, eating a healthy, raw diet gradually restores the heart. Heart disease. Eating plenty of raw meat, raw eggs, raw dairy, stone-pressed olive oil, raw pineapple, fresh, raw, fresh onions, and unheated honey very, very gradually restores the heart. I think I might uh, cut it off here. Okay.